Wow, they got some stuff growing, don't they? Okay, it's a good thing he's out there working, but I bet he's not going to be trimming like he should be trimming. What's that? What did you say? I said he's out there trimming, but he's not looking like he's probably going to trim the way he should be trimming. Way too big. His wife is probably telling him, don't cut that too short. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. You're cutting everything back. I like it green. You know. Poor guy. I like it full, but I like you to be able to move around. And tell her I didn't like these. Can I get another pair for half off in exchange for these? Well, what the shit? Not until those cars go, you get to go. When those cars go, you go. Well, we pulled up here and they were going. I know, but that's not how it works. What? We have to wait for them to go again if they were going. Oh, that's bullshit. It is. That's how it is. Well, honey, I'm trying to drive. I know, you're trying. You're doing good, honey. Tasty. Tasty freeze. Rose of Sharon Florist. That's closed up. Boy, that place is busy. Paris is a cute little place. It's all messy. Yes, honey, you look beautiful. We can call, compliment you all more. See the bank? Uh huh. It's cute. Hmm. Is it still in operation? Or? I don't think so. Looks like it's got stuff stored in it, though. World's biggest barbers. Oh, they're open on Sunday. Oh, it says beauty salon. I need to go to Cosmo Club pretty soon. I need to get hair color and stuff. And I need this braid. The last time I saw you. Cute little depot. I like it. Depot. depot open 12 to 4. We'll have to check out that downtown. drive this way and see what it's like when it's uh, green. Mm -hmm. Dog out Stay on for two weeks if 
I thought you did wear gloves. No. Don't do wear gloves. I thought you did wear gloves. I haven't been wearing gloves lately. Oh, you haven't? I was wearing gloves all the time when I was having them done. Oh. Navajo Road. Family basket. something about you know every mom should be made to get a job yeah when the kids are at school age well, I agree with that if they're on welfare she should get a job if they're all in school and they're just collecting what's sitting on her ass sitting on collecting welfare that's the only well, way I let's see it. here's the thing what they're actually advocating was free help was free child care that's what they were pushing. You need a village to raise your children. And she slipped in there, you know, uh, with help, with uh, child care provided so so that the mother with a degree can use, can develop herself and her career that she went to school for. And, you know, and let the village take care of the children and the... You know, child cares provide. You know, provide child. You know, child care. That's stupid. But I'm saying, what I'm saying is the the a welfare should have a stipulation that the children in school so they can get off this damn welfare. But who's to take care of the kids? They're in school. But they're not always in school. What about after after uh, after school care? It's expensive. So this, so this, the government should provide health care. No. I keep saying health care, child care. No. Well, that's what you're basically doing if you get that mother off her ass to go to work. You know, then, then you know she has no skills. She, it's a work. For, she's doing nothing but getting paid, right. while her children are getting schooled and brainwashed by a liberal society I don't know that that's you see what I'm saying I just hate this idea of welfare I, I do too it. absolutely it's got to start before that you know the worst thing we have is a school system that brainwashes our children I kept telling when I would, my kids were going to school. I said they're in school for six hours. I've got you know two or three hours at night to, to unbrainwash them. Oh, it used to get me so irritated. Well, it worked. Yeah, it was hard work. 
And the problem is, you know, I had to work and, and combat liberal bullshit at school. Oh, God. So, I don't know uh, what's better. I don't even want to have to fucking worry about that. Little teeny car back there. Did you see little, it? A little Honda. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, it looks so tiny they next used, to that truck. They used to have only a, a 650 horsepower motorcycle engine. When, when Honda came, first came. When Honda first came over here, I had a friend who had a cousin who came down whose dad owned a Yamaha shop up in Washington. And he came down here in a Honda. and was no, he came, they came down to visit and spend some time and he had all these connections and he got his boy uh, a Honda from Norm Reeves over there on uh, I think it was Lakewood they had a Norm Reeves Honda motorcycle shop oh before and they had the Norm Reeves uh, cars center. yeah it was, a, it was just a Norm Reeves motorcycle shop he used to go there for years, and all of a sudden they started bringing these Honda cars in, sitting off to the side. They weren't even like, they were like a motorcycle, they had a motorcycle engine in. And his boy, you know, because he had connections, he was a dealer up there in Washington, they came down here to visit, this was Bill. Heckenport? Yeah. And, <coughs> and his, uh, it was his uh, mom's uh, brother his uncle came down his boy came down and I don't know what they were they were they must have spent a week a month or so down here and um, he somehow got Norm Reeves to loan him a Honda car and we used to go all over in that little thing it had just a little 650 horsepower motorcycle. You know, I don't know where we're at. Where the metal It didn't go very fast, I bet. Maybe 60 or something. It had some get up and go, but you're right. I mean, it, well, you know how small it was. Yeah. Smaller than that. It's smaller, oh, yeah. About the size of a smart car. In fact, it might have even been smaller than a smart car. It looked awful tiny next to that uh, truck it was parked next to. But it, it was just a little two-cylinder, 650-horsepower engine. In fact, I had a uh, Yamaha, and uh, I let them race it. A track at Firestone and the, uh, the Long Beach Freeway back behind what used to be uh, a big A and then it became a target. You know, that one little intersection there behind that there was a little industrial complex with a field and they had a little racetrack back there. And they would go racing, you know, every. Friday and Saturday, kind of like a, a, a small Ascot, and they were having races, flat track races. I let them race him on the bike, motorcycle, because he was registered um, AMA uh, flat track. In fact, his dad used to race, and in. 60. Ah, look at that hill. Wow. Yeah. It's yellow clumps everywhere. In fact, his dad entered a, a, a motocross race in 68 up in Canada. Mm -hmm. And we, over the summer, we went up there of 68 and he was, Bill was going to buy the bike that was being raced. It was a CZ, Czechoslovakian. 
and and so the old man uh, raced it. He was an old man, but he he raced it, and then we took it back and rode, stopped along the way and rode on the way back. He had a he had a van, a Ford van. So we spent the summer doing that. Then we went back to their place in in Washington and rode bikes in the back country there. Because I had a Yamaha that we brought with. So that he would, if he got his bike, we would then have bikes that we could go off riding. And how old were you? Oh, that was 68, so what? 17. I was 17, yeah. No, I was... 68, summer of 68, I graduated, I graduated when, I think we went back, my birthday was in 68, I was, in summer, I was, turned 17, so I had just turned 17, I was like 16, 17, I think we went right after, uh, oh, it was before you were 17, it's, we may have went right after school went out, for the summer, which would have been, I would have still been 16. And we went to Canada <laughs> at 16. With his parents, though, right? No. We drove all the way up there. We didn't stop at uh, Washington. We went right up. Look at the wheel on that bike. Yeah. We went up 395 all the way up. Uh, to the Canadian border. How old was Bill? Same age. He was a month old, uh, older than me. His birthday's in June? Actually, very, I think May 30th or something oh. like that. And <laughs> so we, we went up there, crossed the border into Canada, went inland someplace, where racetrack was. Oh, yeah. there's a Dickies right there. So I always uh, was on the roads. We never saw that Dickies there. No. Archibald says the strong. We have the best um, oh, I know. Dickies. Oh, I know. I wouldn't we don't have to drive so far to go to it. No. We have the best panda, too. I feel like having that tonight. You feel like panda? We get that and take it home. We gotta go straight across, right? Mm -hmm. Boy, we have trouble with that van. He had a Ford Econoline van. It was like, uh, I don't know if you remember vans back then, but they, what the Ford Econoline vans looked like. They were the first style vans they had back then. They were like a, just a box. And the engine yeah. sat back here. The engine sat right in between the passengers. And it was like a flat front end. Oh. It had big tires on the back. And it was kind of raised, kind of. It was like the in thing, surf van kind of look. Oh, good. OK, yeah. Well, and the VW van was. Was popular yeah. then, too, yeah. But anyway, he had this van. Got it. His dad bought it. It was a 65 van. And so it was only a few years old. But anyway, we uh, we drove up there and gosh, the, it had a rim that like split in half. <laughs> I mean, like the, it's separated. 
the rim itself oh, was separated. Oh, was that the way it was supposed to look? No, it was broken. I was oh. driving and, <laughs> and half the, the rim come off. Had a flat tire, had to fix, you know, I was in auto mechanics then, right? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't weld it back together. Well, we had to uh, get a new rim. I forget all the details, but it was, uh, what should have just been a casual drive. Turned out to be quite an adventure. Oh, everybody's going that way. Well, that goes to Lake Elson. Maybe they're going up over Ortega. Ortega Highway. Could be. Oh, I I uh, saw on Facebook that they uh, they got the rotary cleared and repaired up to Mid well Mount Whitney. Remember they had that rock slide. Mm -hmm. They've got that all cleaned up. The road still has got a sign, you know, closed. There's still a foot of snow up there, up by the little lake that's up there in Mount Whitney. So by the time we get there, hopefully, hopefully it's open. You know how to go now. Come in through this way. Want me to let you out here? Let's we'll see if there's a parking place. There's some over here. Oh, I just go right here. My son, my face will be too bad for the sun. I'm going to back in here. It's kind of cloudy and stuff. It's not real bright. Oh, <laughs> you. It should be good. When did you paint it? This morning. Yeah, I oh, I just dusted off the thing. What, well, huh? Of course, he was an agent in the same well, again. Luckily, oh. she wasn't looking for the same shoot. Oh, when you're checking out? Huh? Every time I go there, the Asians are in there. They're all over, they're crawling all over there like cockroaches. Mm -hmm. Sickening. And they walk around like they own the fucking place. She did say, I'm sorry. That's the first time. Usually they just look at you like you don't belong there. Let's see, I'm trying to get around her. Well, she walked right in front of me. I know. I couldn't believe it. I mean, she's so oblivious, she can't see. Yeah, I didn't quite understand why I got like a... It was $41 or $47 credit for a $24 pair of shoes. And I thought, well, if I'm getting a credit of $47, then uh, 
get another pair of shoes at 25% off. So I got 25% so off. So you still have credit left or no? No. I, it cost me seven or eight dollars more. But I got a pair of shoes that were ten dollars more than the ones I returned. So the shoes would have normally cost forty some seven dollars or forty eight dollars. I feel like yeah. I mean if you had a credit of forty dollars you paid another eight dollars. Plus these have never been tried on. with my pink purse or the turquoise purse that I have. Mm. So, and I don't know, I might put a little flower or something on these. We'll see. If I go to, see, they're cute. Mm -hmm. And they have Velcro. I can get them on real easy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Spectacular. Well, that, was, that was a good change. Okay, these were 59. Say 69, but they're 59. And I got a $15 off. So they were $44.99 and my credit was 40 something on the other one. You're happy. Yeah. My credit was forty three oh nine. I got a credit for forty three oh nine. And these cost forty eight. So they were five dollars. I spent five dollars more than I did last week. Oh wow. So that was worth it. That's good. Yeah, and now I've got shoes that I can get on and off. That didn't take too long. It took what it took. real happy that I could find a pair of shoes, a pair of five and a half, that hadn't even been tried on. Yeah. Were they on the floor there, or in the back room? No, they were, the, they were there. Um, in the back? I know they were there. My question was, were they on the floor, or were they in the back room? They weren't in the back room. They were right there where I could On the floor? Them. Yeah, on the floor. You know, they have shoes, and then they have the boxes all over, and you just look for the box. And I saw, I saw those in a five, and I thought these are so cute. And they, the fives had been tried on, and I thought, well, these are probably a little bit small. Maybe they'll have a five and a half. So I looked around, and sure enough, they had a five and a half. And I opened them up, and they had all the, the cardboard and all the plastic still in them. And I thought, cool, I'm getting these. Hmm. So I tried them on, and. They're real comfortable and cute. Oh. Oh, nice. I'm glad it worked out. Mm -hmm. Me too. That was worth returning those shoes. So I not only returned those, I got another pair. Oh, God. These lights. Now, there's no reason why they both couldn't have been green at the same time. Well, 
Well, we'll go across, try to find Quail Valley, and then we'll head on down. Uh, we can go get some panda if that's okay with you. Or it's fine. Yeah, you want to you want to get it to take it home? Yeah, we can do that if you want. That way, it'd be more comfortable at home. Yeah. Get it to go. Because that's something that we can eat up. It's not like it's a hamburger. Or anything. Oh yeah, I know. It's good to heat up. And we'll be a little hungrier by the time we get home and relax a little bit and want to heat it up. Yeah. So I don't really feel hungry right now, do you? No. You know, that's a good sign that we're not like always if, hungry. If I did, I would probably just eat or drink um, some water fill my stomach up. That's what I used to do. I used to always have a bottle of water drinking it. Suppress my hunger. <clears throat> You're right. Yeah, it's being satisfied with less. It seems like the what now? It was on that thing. Well, did it ruin anything? Probably not. It's going to be a little tacky. I wouldn't worry about it. As long as it's not going to pull anything up. It's see my my skin doesn't stick. Maybe that it'll dry. You know, it probably just a little tacky. Well, you can see how messed up it was. Yes. I did a pretty good job of cleaning it up, didn't I? It can't be as bad as it was. Oh, I mean, it gosh, was bad. God. I think I put, what I did was, I did put some uh, texture, you know, paint on it. And it just gooped it up and it just never seemed to dry. Well, this looks good. It yeah. looks like it's textured. Well, that's the natural, you know, except for the little nubs here that I've used. Sanded. Well, that was the reason I had to fix it to begin with. Remember, they had yeah. a little dog and it was all eaten up? Yeah, it was chewed up. Yeah. So. It must have been puppy or something. Yeah, remember the whole seatbelt thing was chewed up? Mm hmm I want to find a road that goes over there. What's the road? If you see one that says Quail Valley. On here? Well, you're not going to. We've got to go a ways, it looks like, before we can cut across. That's okay, don't put your eyes. We'll just look at the street signs. See now. Just the first one. The Hill Hauser, there's a Bodie one. Oh, I know. That's what you said. I'd like to see that one. I don't know if it would be better than ours. No. Well, they obviously didn't check out every place. But maybe there's some stuff on there that we didn't check out. Yeah. Or maybe it just looked different. Yeah. Well, it was probably done. Looks like it goes into a development. I don't think this is 
Well, it, it comes into this other screen. Oh, well, maybe it goes through. We'll just see. Yeah, it is the outside of the development. So it might be all right. It's not really in the development. I thought it was going to take us into the house. Yeah, well, it, it's side. definitely on a street that everybody wants to ride your ass around. They'd be the first ones to scream that you're driving fast down their street. See, there's no streets that go out this way. So, 74 continues to go that way. I wanted to get this way and then look for a street that kind of cuts across. Like a main street. Yeah. Big houses here, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is dead is. ends. The dead ends. It came up on the screen there that there's no more road. Well, I saw it. I said it looks okay. like a dead end, so I guess you didn't know. I want Steel Valley. This probably doesn't go all the way through. Looks like a pretty big street. Look at the map, it ends right there. Yeah. Where it goes, that? Then we don't have to get drinks and all that stuff. We can just buy them. Because the plates don't come with drinks. Oh, okay. Then we can get some, maybe, uh, side of wontons or something. Mm -hmm. And you'd probably like something else. Huh? Now this shows a, a road going out that way. It's a dirt road. Yeah. Okay, we're back on 74 again. We will be. Wow, look at this place. Wow. That's El Natural. Yeah, a lot of rocks there for snakes to sleep on here. So, in the middle of winter, when rattlesnakes are sleeping, or in their, uh, their, what do you call it? In their hibernating? Hibernating. Uh -huh. Can you go pet one? Well, they're underground. <gasps> yeah, they're down underground. Somehow they can dig. Don't ask me how. Those teeth they have, they like a pitchfork. Well, they might, they might take over other animals' holes in the ground. They're cold-blooded, so... They don't like it when it's cold, they like it when it's warm. Right. What's this say? Green laundry. We need one that's yellow going that way. Yeah, well... These all seem to kind of dead end. Well, will we come to the 215 up here? Well, eventually, but I don't want to do that. Well, I know, but if we don't find something, we can oh, well, yeah. take the 215. If we don't find something, well, we know how to get home. Because we're going through Paris. We're going towards Paris. There are some nice branches, and then there's some places that you look, you're right. They just they like crap. Yeah, I don't know. I bet you there's some nice places up there in those hills there. Well, 
Pearl Valley is at the the other end of Canyon Lake. You know, before they put Canyon Lake in there. You know, when I'm looking in these backyards and yeah. where there's kids' toys and stuff, I never see kids out playing. Take a dirt road right across that country huh? to get to the other side. Right here, that dirt road, right here. See, we got a map that tells us where it goes. We don't have enough gas to go on a dirt road. I'll just call the uh, 4x4 recovery. Yeah. They come out and yank us right uh -huh. and pull the front bumper right off of this. Take us to a gas station. Pull the front bumper right off. <laughs> they love pulling, using those damn straps. Mm -hmm. Tearing the hell out of your car. See, you're supposed to use a winch. This is all Mexican around here. Carson Maria is everywhere. Who? Carson Maria. 
What's that? Grocery store. Meat. Meat. Oh. I've seen three of them just in the last half mile or mile. Town, aren't we? Damn it. Mm -hmm. I just hope I'm with you on your road going across. Across the back country here. Did you want to go downtown? Uh, yeah, we can. We'll go this way and then cut back this way. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Our little Sunday adventure. Yeah. That church. Oh yeah. I have to drive by that to see what it is. Well that mortuary is empty. No, it's there. Why that church is crap. Whatever that is. Uh, that is that is a church down there. That bus had Wi-Fi. Oh, really? <laughs> That's pretty neat. Cool. I have these cheap socks on. Actually, this pair isn't too bad. I'm going to have to wear all those real cheap ones and find out the ones that don't stay on the heel. Some of them stay on the heel, some of them don't. Kind of neat too. Yeah, we'll go this way and then we'll go out that way. Okay. Mother Earth Nutrition closed. Oh, this is 395. This is? Uh -huh. See? Historic 395. Oh, it's an old movie theater. Big parking lots or something. Must be a. Is this a uh, Metro Link or something? I don't know. Maybe. There's a parking lot right there too. Well, you know the thing is, is although it looks kind of. Go down there and then come back here and go that way. I want to see what. Oh, we can't. None of these streets go through. Mm. It looks tired, but at least they haven't torn it down. You know what I mean? No, and you know, it looks like it could be a cute little town. Look at this Paris station. Yeah. This is a nice building here. Yeah. Oh, this one goes through. Turn left. See, look. Well, Where do you want to go? It dead ends right there. Oh. I mean, what is it that you're trying to oh, do? Oh, I wanted to see what that church was over there. Oh, turn around. City oh, Hall, boy, their City Hall is beautiful. How do I turn around? Boys and Girls Club in Paris. Oh, I guess they're still freshly painted. The flowers looks like somebody did it, though. Well, yeah, it's still a happening place.
Yeah, it's you know, look at that way. place up there. Wow. What is that? Oh. There's cars up there. I'd like to see one if it's a museum or something. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Maybe well, if we go down here, we can see a street that goes up there to that. Through. Oh, it didn't. Oh, no. You keep saying things go yeah, through over there and it doesn't. Well, I thought it did. I don't know how many historic buildings are here. That, that looks like they could be historic. This one here. Is it the jail? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> They torn some over down over here for a parking for the metro lane. Yeah, the barber shop. Legal center for the illegals. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they took these uh, stop signs. Covers. Monica's beauty shop is open. There's somebody in there. And now here I could probably get my hair color put on for ten bucks. Right here, the bar world's largest barber shop. It says beauty salon. Boy. The world's biggest beauty salon. Place is packed. Yeah. I wonder why it's always so busy. Well, that's where all the uh, Mexicans go. This basically is little Mexico. Well, I know. It's probably pretty good. We've driven by here before and said so we'll have to try that sometime. We did? Yeah. Look them up online. Yeah. Authentic tacos. Oh, there's a little hotel. Remember that used to be a oh, yeah. little yeah. hotel? Off of building now. It's actually going. This, this is a little nicer over here. Yeah. A little more polished. Well, East goes. There's an adult with them. Look at this place. There's a clinica. All oh, the illegals took off. Hey, there's your little tulip park. Mercado apartments. Over here? Apartments. Oh. Can you imagine what those are? I bet they're head start. I bet Probably they're a little, little section eight stuff. Huh? Yeah, I bet they're little tiny apartments. Well, that one building you said that's a nice building in the old part that back there. Mm -hmm. there. That said uh, Paris Housing Authority. So that was probably a low-income project. See how the other half live. Some of these are nice little houses. They're not bad. You know, they look like they're kind of well-maintained.
He's turning left. Well, let's go downtown. Now we well, see. These look a little nicer. These are regular apartments. Ooh. That other building back there was definitely the Mercado Apartments. Yeah. Section 8. Probably, and I bet they're real tiny. People are just Oh, let's see. I want to go by here. Looks like this goes by the airport over here. Hunt Club Apartments. And this might go across where I want to go. I bet those aren't section eight. Those are just regular apartments. Yeah, they're fenced off. Huh? No, they're all fenced off like a jail. I know, but that also keeps people out. Yeah. Okay, this looks like a good back back road here, huh? Yeah, goes through. Nobody's jumping. That was the hangar. It says indoor skydiving. There's a tunnel in there, is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They just sit there on a fan that's blowing them up and they're doing all kinds of maneuvering. Um, they're not actually, you know, dropping out of the sky. That would be fun. You have to know what you're doing, though. You just you got to keep yourself opened up because if you collapse, you can fall right down. Now that's got some stuff right there. Oh shit! That that come on. What was there? Skin. Yeah. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's easy enough to clean up and paint again. Yeah. It was it's better than it was. It's like like a movie. It's better than it was, right? Ooh, look at that little squirrel standing there. Do you see that? Uh -uh. Standing right up along the side. Didn't even move. We drove right past him. Yeah. Honey, I'm not gonna worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because okay. that'll come off anyway. It's just my skin. The paint came off, well then it's just something to paint again. I may have to get some vinyl paint. It might be the, might be the problem, because I'm just using regular paint. Mm -hmm. Vinyl paint. Well, has you, just, you might as well just get a piece of, of no, uh, you can't not cover a hide and recover it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. out there. I don't know. Ethernet. Yeah, I think that's where I want to go. Ethernet. Oh, hell no. Let's just keep on straight. What the hell? I need to get a map if that's one of them. Golden Rod Avenue. I just go take us somewhere. I should go get a map.
Okay, we're going to go up here and there's a Roy W. Kibon Memorial Park up here. See? Eesh, it's hard to see unless you get... It's all terrace ready to develop. Isn't that some? Way back here. Well, we are, but we're not going towards the freeway. You see, we were always asking, I wonder if there's a cut over other than Newport. Well, this is taking us to Newport. It's not... This is the way I wanted to go, in other words. Boy, there's some nice houses up there. I thought this little road was back here, you know? They had a dummy sitting on a tractor back there. For lease or rent, 24 acres. Park was back there. I need to get, come back here with a map so I know exactly where I'm going. Look at that motor. Yeah, that's an antique. Oh. You should be able to see Quail, or uh, not Quail Lake, but uh, Canyon Lake right over there. So this is Quail Valley, off, kind of off to the right. That little section back there was Menifee, I guess. Yeah. Who 
interesting how people find themselves back here, you know? It's such a mixture of, of nice places and, I mean, the, the bottom to the top, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's some mediocre and some crappy. Well, Valley Bible Church. I mean, just, people just want to haul ass. Oh, and I just, Valley, Valley Market. So this is Quail Valley. I mean, soon. Oh, yeah. Riverside County Fire Department. Quail Valley Bible Church. Minimum a thousand dollar fine or something. I don't want to keep you with me for a moment. Okay, Jessica. Alright, sweetie. Thank you so much for the calls. Jessica. Woof. That place was a pigsty. Oh. Don't forget where that road is. <laughs> I know. That's exactly oh, what I was thinking. I was thinking, well. Yeah. Can I set Magellan to get me back home? Here's Quail Bo Valley Bible Church. Oh, okay. Okay, we've seen enough around here. I'm just going to go straight down the street and then turn around. I'm not going to go off the beaten path. I know. Let's go back on that road. We turned off the road back there. Yeah. So I think this may take us down down to uh, to the lake. I think it takes us. Well, I don't know. There's a stop sign up here. Where it's taking us. Mountain View Place. Do not enter that way. You can turn left, though. I think that guy's You can't go straight. Well, should I go back up that way? May as well. Oh, these are one-way roads. Yeah, I can't go that way. I can't go back that way. Yeah, just turn on the street. Yeah, they, look, that's why they're so narrow. That guy's probably going bike riding up over there. He has a dirt bike in the back of this. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, I've been seeing some white people. I think there's a lot of white people out here. Oh yeah, he's ready to go right. He probably lives right here. He does, I bet. Yeah. This is my kind of place. Ah! Oh. I know. That's just that's my route to these kind of places. So what place would you like to live in? You find one that you live in. 
I haven't seen any I'd live in with all the Christmas decorations out here. There's a couple pit bulls. Well, I'm sure there's a the lot. The door's hanging off of that place. The door's what? wide open, hanging off. I'm not, I mean, I do am somewhat picky, honey. Everybody's out cutting. Yeah. Maybe the fire department makes them. Could be. Oh. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen one place that, there's that Coil Valley Church. I'm not saying here. There have been a lot of places that we've gone by. Well, they're intriguing. Let me put it that way, intriguing. Oh, yeah. I, like I wouldn't want to live them. in the middle of, you know, a bunch of people that don't give a shit. There's a cop over there. Yeah. Okay, the market. Look at that market. Oh, there's the fire department. The market's right there. Coming soon. So we want to turn right. Pick up junk. We pick up junk cars. No papers, okay. Oh, that's fine. You steal a car. And... Okay. Lake's like right over there. Oh. Carmichael. Yeah, I'm talking like a place like that. You know what I'm saying? Where it's kind of isolated by itself. Mm -hmm. Nice house. Nice. Not late. With a little bit of land. Not in the middle of a, of a pit hole. But you're saying with a little bit of land. Yeah. My hair is finally returning back to normal. Oh, okay. The grease, you mean? Yeah, the grease is out of it. I would have known. I mean, this is kind of an interesting little backcountry. Gives you a, a feel for what. Oh, they do upholstery there too. You know, what further out used to look like that's all developed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you come into this. Oh, I bet you this is where uh, Gene Autry. Grace Church. This is Gene Autry. You got Railroad Canyon coming right in there. Audie Murphy. Audie Murphy, right. Look at how they're developing. this property and then they sold it sold it off to city of canyon lake yeah just came through that wow this is a massive massive development Okay, so now we know where that road is. Oh, yeah. 
to hold it's know, goats. Well, not for a drive, we'll it's go goats. back in there and explore a little more. Goats. I kind of like checking that out. Mm -hmm. I was pretty glad about that. We'd feel better if we knew kind of where the roads were, where they were going. I wonder how many acres Audie Murphy had. Oh, God. Must have had a couple hundred acres. Uh, probably more like a couple, a thousand. couple thousand, yeah. Most decorated. Mm. Must have killed a lot of people. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. People when they're young are so young and cute and stuff. And how they change what age does to you. Yeah. yeah. They turn a nice looking handsome guy into a shriveled up old man. See, all these are being developed here mm -hmm. first, and they'll move towards those hills. And then there'll be view lots and away from this traffic. This is just starting. Remember, we drove through here. None of these were here when we first drove oh, yeah. through. They're all on this side. Yeah. They've got this this lane going, going straight across. Remember, you used to come in at the last minute here. Yeah, but remember, this was all under construction a week or two ago. Yeah. still here. He was not motivated to sell. 
Still in business. Boy, it's sure a lot easier coming this way than it is coming that way. Well, we finally got that road kind of open. We'll just get it, take it home. We can just heat it up at home. That's right. Yeah, we can just put it in the microwave and heat it like that. Mm -hmm. Thing. What else did you want? I don't know. You just get all one thing, huh? Two, two of the same thing. Uh -huh. Did you want to get an extra side or something? Yeah, I'm going with you. Hold on. Okay. You know, Forever 21 used to have cute things. Now they're just like a cheap store in a strip mall. Oh. used to have some real cute stuff, but boy, when I went into it, the one last time, it was like all oh, cheap stuff. Yeah. This is a busy little strip lunch for that other one. I know. They don't, you have a big truck like that. Shit. Yeah, no, you know, these things are so, uh, well, there's nothing on this one. What? Silver car's pulling out. Micro in case somebody comes in the other way, they'll nab it from you. Walk a little bit slower. Everybody goes to Panda Express. Yeah. Okay. 
put it on, you put it in your pocket. Because you put it on your credit card anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go get to work. My sample on the cream cheese wonton. <laughs> oh. They have those at um, pick up sticks. Boy, too crowded. Yeah. I mean, you can't even have a chance to look at what you want. Do these people honestly have to be in the middle of the road? Well, they have to take their time crossing when there's cars there. They just take their sweet time. Well, what you have is people at one end wanting to rush and cut you off and ride your ass and then on the other hand you got people that are just oblivious to what's going on. Uh -huh. yep. Sushi doesn't look very busy. Ooh. We need to come back to Red Robin. That was kind of fun. It's a little kiosk. Just sitting up. Adult section. Yeah. But we have to ask to sit in the bar. That's what it is. Oh, that's right. Sit in the bar area. <sighs> Boy, that van's huge. It is. God. And ugly. Yeah. Sticking above with a little bit of snow, aren't they? Well, were you ready to go home? Yeah. Okay. Do you need to do anything else, do you? No. Did you want to get gas or something? No. I think we'll be going out. We're going to go out tomorrow someplace, aren't we? I'll just get gas tomorrow. Down to a third. Well, Tuesday we have to go to Tomato. You know, Chuck Berry. For what? The legend all over the world. She's getting groomed Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. That's when we're going to go to uh, Costco. Costco. Chicago. Well, I might wash the truck tomorrow. I'll go over there tomorrow. That looks like that had the Chuck Berry on. Squirt it down. I, I looked down and uh, I saw like an embroidery on the jacket that they have to bring and it said rock and roll and And I looked over to the other side of the jacket and it said uh, embroidered in script. So there he is. And by this time I was right out of the and I was there he was. Like, you know, all I could see was this. So what's the temperature going to be like up there in the 70s, you think? Mid 70s, mid to upper 70s through the week. I think it's about 73, like Monday, and by the end of the week, it's like 79. Oh, okay. So, you want to wear your hat, because we'll want to walk. We to walk. Oh, I'm taking my sombrero, my parasol. We wanted to walk up uh, you know, Main Street and walk around for a day. But I'll take my parasol and my hat. Is Archibald's open yet? Did you say they have Philly? I said they have uh, 
There must have been 20 people in line. Wait. Uh, Every night. time we've gone, it's packed. We went there, there was no one. It was just us and that black lady, and you know, all of a sudden. I'm trying to figure out what I want. You know, that's almost a place where you need to know what you want before you go there. I like the fried rice, but I'd also like to get one of those other sides up with that green. Uh, some of that other stuff was. Were, were those entrees or where the fried rice was? That display there? Was that all sides or was that I think those entrees were sides. too? No, I think those were sides. I didn't see them up there, did I? And you're, and you're talking about the. Um, the green. Uh, I don't know what it was. Oh, they had brown white rice, white rice, big fried rice, chow mein. Well, there's some other stuff there. I guess I missed it. It was a set. It was vegetables. It was all vegetables. Those are sides. Those are all the sides. Sometimes reading it doesn't tell me what it is. I need to look at it and say, ah, that's what I want. Next time she asks if you want to sample anything, say, yeah, can I sample that? Do you like it before you buy But that has a story behind it. Why that's the only place left. Yeah. And what they're grading here, I don't know. I, I never So this, this was the Lucindo Saboba tribe, which roamed to what is today San Jacinto, Hemet, Winchester, 
actually five little towns. And then around the turn of uh, the 19th century, yeah, the 1900s, they, the army, the U.S., had a battle with Mexico, conquered the land that Mexico had taken from the Indians, and we then uh, established reservations for them. All the different Indian tribes, like the Pechanga, the Saboba, the, you know, whatever they are. So they said, well, we took over the land from Mexicans now, so we own the land, but we're going to designate certain parts of this land. We're going to give back to the Indians, mm -hmm. in other words, yeah. yeah. Because you well, no had, wonder. because you, the Indians, didn't have shit because of the Mexicans, but now that we kicked their ass, we're going to give you some land back. Well, but, no wonder the Indians like us. Yeah. All the Mexicans did was just turn them into slaves. You know, through the missions. They tried, they were slave labor, essentially. Mm -hmm trying to, you know, make Christians out of them when they had their own religious beliefs, you know, they're really into experiences. In fact, if you go to the Saboba website, it's one of many, yeah. Just married. It's one of many, you know, tribal websites, and then they have like little retreats, what they call experiences. So they can go, you know, um, run with the, you know, ride wild horses someplace in Montana. Or they can, you know, experiences, you know what I'm saying? It's like retreats for them. But what's weird is the, um, the Maze Rock. That wasn't done by Indians. That's um, that's supposedly like prehistoric. You're going back seven thousand years. Oh, really? Yeah. And that was on private property. Some guy, you know, a couple owned it back in the turn of the century, last century. They were out that whole little valley there. They were out kind of doing something and they came across it. Well, I guess when they died or whatever, they left they uh, left it to the uh, state to uh, make a park out of it or a historical landmark. You'll hear all about it in the movie. Well, be okay. What I'll do is I'll probably tell the story as I walk up that road. You know what I'm saying? Probably the first. I'm about ready to start writing the script now. Yeah. Well, probably my first little bit within talking about Winchester. Winchester's the theme, <laughs> although it's going to involve. The Maystone is going to involve the Saboba tribe. It's going to involve Lake or Diamond Lake. It's going to involve the Cheese Factory. <laughs> Winchester is the hub of it all. How long is this one going to be? Oh, it's probably good. It's probably going to be about three hours. 
What? It's a major major motion picture. Well, Maystone is one. Saboba Tribe is another. You've got uh, Lake Diamond Lake. The the Domani the Dem, the Domanagoni uh, family. The Patterson family. Did I say cheesecake? It's not cheesecake, it's cheese. Or factory. the cheese? <laughs> not cheesecake factory. Cheese uh, factory. You know, then I'm going to talk more about the main street and how the buildings have disappeared with the store. and So it's going to be probably, I don't know, five or maybe four or five movies. 30 minutes long or something. Yeah, maybe. You know, I gotta do some time machine stuff in there. <laughs> you know how I, my style is. It's a little journey. I don't wanna let my 20 viewers that like that kind of stuff down. My 20 viewers. Yeah, but there's some that really have, well. I know there are, there's probably about 30 that as soon as I put something up, they they want to watch right away. I only know about maybe two or three that who they are. But I don't want to put some crap out, you know what I mean? I like, I like you know, I'm not a professional by any means. But I try to do the best that I can with the quality of what I put out in a, in, at a very amateurish level. You do a great job. What are you talking about? You know, my stuff isn't all chopped up. Some of these people, they make a video and they chop everything up. You'll be driving here, you'll be here, and then you'll be chopped up up there and then chop going this way and you know there's no real if your arm came off on your thing again I think it's skin or lotion because I put lotion on my arm if you mess it up I'm not going to scold you or anything so don't worry I'm not messing it up don't worry I'm not going to scold you it's your car too you better take care of it you take care of it. Sometimes better than you. Okay. I don't let it go in the dirt. I watch where you park. <laughs> I don't let it go in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. I need to wash it because... That little fountain is just barely squirting. I, I know. Here the water dam thing's over with. What's the problem here? No, they live right here, but I gotta guess where they're going in the garage. Must be loading up, getting ready to go. Hey, just loading up. Yeah. He took the top off the white one. I saw that. Hey, I'm supposed to fly our flags today? Why? I don't know. Dwayne's car is fine. Or Wayne. I don't know. He doesn't have his out there yet. What's the day today? 26th of March. Hi, everybody. This is you guys. Welcome to hour number two. Tonight, as you know, we're dedicating our show to a memory of... Uh, the oh, I guess Tim's out there because he's got a ladder out there. Tell yeah. us the basic poet, basic movement guy, boy, dance like nobody else. I don't know about him. A little step stool doing something. He he was just gonna throw that thing anywhere on the side of the thing. He comes down and says, you know, I don't know if I should put this where I've got it planned. Can you take a look at it? And I look at it and says, Oh man. <laughs> no, you don't wanna put it there. Oh, he 
Yeah, he came down to get me. Yeah, so you know what? He has he trusts what you do.